So moving inside, it's again, it's already unlocked, uh, pulling on this ancient looking handle. And what do we have? So the, the outside is silver. Um, I think it's called silver birch metallic, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the inside, it's tan, but also known as, I want to say, camel cashmere. And I'm just going to sit in here. Okay. And this is the awesomeness of a Lincoln Top Car. It's a very nice, very spacious, very good smelling interior. Uh, the leather smells, you know, even 14 years later from 06, it smells nice. It does smell nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the door. I'm going to dig the key out. I'm going to open the window. Oh, you know what? Maybe I won't. We have, we have the sunroof open, by the way. Looking at this very gray sky on this April 11. Saturday, coronavirus-filled afternoon, and, well, maybe it's good that I'm going to start it, so you guys can kind of see, and I can go through all of the features of this car, and I am filming this using my Samsung Galaxy Note 9, so no fancy equipment, this is literally me, car, and phone. Um, for my first video, I did not want to invest any sort of special microphone, special equipment. I hope the sound comes out okay. But you can see, or hear, 93,322 miles. So I don't know how much sound transitioned into the microphone. But thank God all the lights do turn off if I buckle myself in the... Uh, the little symbol will go away. So once again, whoever owned this, thank you for taking good care of this vehicle uh, for me to enjoy now. So what do we have? Well, we have some some wood. I, I personally love classic wood on the vehicle. It's everywhere in this car. Thankful there's no weird aftermarket uh, wood trim pieces that were added. I know some people go overboard. I think there's plenty of wood to be had. No need to add anything extra. So these door pulls, these door handles, as you can see, there's no door handle other than to open the door. This is it. This is what you have. And some may call it old fashioned. Some may call it unnecessary. Some may call it so that grandpa can get in, get in and out. I don't care. I love these things. They, you can very easily open and close the door with these. Even when the door is swung open all the way out, you can still reach it very easily at any point and pull them. Uh, and the door closes like a safe, I tell you. I enjoy the sound of, the, of all these doors opening and closing every single time. Uh, got nice uh, trim trim uh, pieces here. These things are famous for falling off. As a matter of fact, when I bought this car, I think a couple of them were off, uh, were not there on the uh, back doors. So I switched them from the, uh, you know, I, I switched them around. Oh, actually, no, I'm sorry. I think it, actually this one was off and it drove me nuts because there's an exposed screw behind it that actually holds this. Uh, they're, you know, one on each side. So I actually pulled them off of one of the backs, put it on uh, on here, and then I ordered a couple of these extra pieces, and I put them on, and, and now I have all my, my little trim pieces here. This is a little, I don't know, paint, I think, from, from the one before. Maybe it came from my fixing of the, the rear quarter panel, so it's some silver paint. It drives me nuts, but I can't take it off, so... Uh, anyway, so yeah, so this, this, I love this thing. Uh, the window switches, thankful all the windows do work. You have the driver auto down feature. I think the previous owner must have loved Gorilla Glue because this, this piece right here with the wood panel, I don't know if it broke off or he tried fixing something in there. And I think he maybe he broke one of the tabs holding this, these things. Cause I think you're supposed to stick a little tool in there and just pry it open very carefully. So if you go too, too, too quickly, you'll break whatever tab it's holding it in. So the previous owner must have, and, and there's, there's other places in the car where some Gorilla Glue is showing you now. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't think Gorilla Glue is appropriate for fixing a car because it does expand and this is exactly what happened here. But it does hold in place. Everything works. The mirrors, uh, they're heated mirrors. Uh, the controls are, are all working fine. You have this uh, 
Seat controls here, you have the memory, it does work. Have the heated seats, uh, the little light does light up and they do work, thank God. Uh, everything actually works in this car, I don't wanna jinx it, but on the, on the passenger side, same thing, minus the memory, works. Uh, heater works, the seat works, everything else works. Moving along here, you have the auto headlights, I keep it off usually. Um, you have the, the dimmer switch for the panel. Uh, the adjustable pedals, uh, this is this is interesting. Uh, for me, I know that Ford used, uh, you know what, I should have wiped the pedals down. Sorry about that. Uh, Ford used to put these on, on a lot of cars, on the on the Mercury's, the Lincoln's, the, the Ford's, uh, the, a lot of SUVs. And I think this, this is one of the features that I don't see on, on modern cars. I don't know that I think it's not necessary, but I think it's a, it's a pretty easy luxury feature to throw in and, and it does work with the memory function too. So if uh, you know you have two drivers, one is too short, one is too tall, everybody can be happy in this. And then here you have a traction control. Now, I don't know why anybody would ever wanna turn it off. Uh, once again, keep in mind, you're not racing anybody in here. I always keep it on. And it does come in handy when you drive it in the winter time in the snow or, or heavy rain. Yeah, you can see tra traction control kind of helping you out. So, uh, but yeah, if you ever want to turn it off, do some, some burnouts, you certainly can. All right, what do we have here? You have a nice wood grain steering wheel. I love wood grain on the steering wheel. I know it's, once again, it's considered an old school luxury car feature. All the modern luxury cars are now sports cars, and so nobody does this. I love it. I, I, I think this is actually the only real wood. If I remember correctly, watching some other reviews, and maybe even a brochure, it says real, I wanna say burl wood, but I could be wrong, because obviously all the other wood around here is, is nothing more than plastic. And maybe even this is plastic, but I believe, if I remember correctly, this is the only real wood here. Everything else is plasto wood. Plastic, fantastic. So, steering wheel, very basic. Uh, nothing fancy other than the wood. You have the emblem, you have the horn, also works. You have the airbag, uh, by this time, uh, everybody did airbags. You have these buttons, you have the cruise control. I think the plus uh, is turning into an arrow. Maybe somebody had long fingernails before me and scratched the plus. Man, these birds are going beast mode over there. Holy crap. Wow. Anyway, sorry. Uh, and then here, uh, so yeah, cruise control, very basic. You're set, you're resume, you're on off. Uh, you have um, the volume for the radio. You have the next feature and you have the temperature feature. So I'm gonna turn the radio on. Some uh, 91.5, 91.5 FM, doesn't really matter. Uh, but yeah, you know, your volume controls are fine. You have your next for the presets, and looks like I only have a few. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So, and then you have the temperature plus and minus. Now, you know, the climate control is here, works very basic. You know, you, you want it to blow here, uh, and you know, you can control it here. Uh, you have the auto feature, the, the defrost, the rear, the front, the dual feature too. So you can have, you know, one side blowing hot, one is cold, nothing, nothing fancy. Air conditioner, hey, even the air conditioner still works in this vehicle uh, from 14 years. It was probably recharged a few times, but yeah, I was uh, pleasantly surprised when we had an 80 uh, degree day here. I'm in uh, Northern Illinois a few days ago. I found out, I wasn't sure if the air AC worked, but but it did. It, it kicked in. I tested it during the test drive at the dealership, but you know, you never know if it was to recharge or not. So yeah, AC, uh, the recirculating air, exterior temperature. So you can see how much, how much, uh, how hot it is or cold it is outside. There's that. And you can also change it from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Very nice and easy. Cause this car was sold everywhere. It was sold in Canada. It was uh, sold. I'm sure it was sold in many countries overseas as well. Uh, so much uh, easier to just switch it, make a switch instead of redoing it uh, for every market. Yeah, oh, you know, it does show the radio station. It has the presets, has all your your bass, your your treble, you know, and you can control it right here. It had a satellite radio uh, thing. You could have uh, got some sort of uh, an adapter for satellite radio. This car did not come with it. I always wondered why AM and FM and CD are like on the same rocker switch. 
were satellite radios and a separate with a scan and shuffle. Wouldn't it make more sense to put the satellite, you know, on the same button as the AM FM and then the CD is here? Don't know, but they must have not thought this was important. You have the, the six, six disc CD changer. I don't think uh, modern cars even have, I mean, a lot of modern cars don't even have CDs anymore but the, this car came from an era where cds were were the king it doesn't have a cassette deck which i'm kind of surprised i i thought these cars came with cassette decks up to up to the very end but you know this must have been maybe it was an option i'm not sure but the bottom line is this one doesn't have it but you know this one has a cd player you know oh looks like i do have uh four cds in there so you can select which slot it actually See, move, moving to one. If I had an extra CD, I would have loaded it in there. It would have ate it and it would have played. Other than that, uh, you can also eject. Well, eject actually cancel. So if you want to eject a certain CD, so I would say I want to eject CD number six. This is not what kind of music I like video review. So you take the CD and there you go. And if you want to load it back up, Let's put it in slot number one. See, it moves. And there you go, it works. And then I can turn it off so it doesn't actually play. I have a mute button here, that's nice. These cars, I think, used to come, not maybe by 06, but before, used to come with uh, a phone. Uh, maybe that's what the button is for, but I think by 06 they stopped with the phone. So, anyway, you got, you got this. You got 93,000 miles. You have a very quiet idle. Uh, you have these buttons right here. Setup, select, info, reset. And all they do is they control certain functions. So select to begin system check. So this is a very basic kind of self-troubleshooting. Uh, washer, air suspension, okay. Systems, okay. Everything is okay. Fuel is okay. Park aid. This is what beeps when you back up. Uh, yeah, so then and then the info button kind of just cycles through the trip a B 323 miles to empty. Oh Look, it just started raining. Well, that's nice. I'm just gonna close myself off here Average fuel economy 18.4 not bad. Oh, and then this kind of gives me a little bar graph when you drive yeah, that's all it does. And then the reset button right here, like if you want to reset anything. There you go. Very simple. I think this is a sensor for the in inside uh, climate control, I, I believe. So you have the buttons. I always wonder why the temperature button, you know, I mean, you have another temperature button, like, I don't know, 12 inches or maybe even less apart. But I guess the same reason why you have a volume button and you have a volume knob, you know, 12 inches apart. You know, why not? Um, and then the next feature just, you know, does the presets, but also when you have the CD, you press next, it goes to the next track. And if you hold next, it serves the same as like the seek button. It actually fast forwards. You have the clock here. I love this clock. Uh, I wish more cars had the clock. The giant buttons on the left and the right. I don't know why this is to adjust the clock. I'm not sure why you need such a giant buttons, but at the same time, look, this whole module is a clock. Why do you need such a giant module? I don't know, because they probably it would have been a lot cheaper for them to make this in blocks. As you can see, block one, block two is the radio, and then block three is the climate control. So it probably makes it cheaper to make instead of like cutting different holes here and making this smaller, rounder. Anyway, so down here, you have an ashtray. And I thought this was two ashtrays, but this is actually one. So this is probably a coin holder. And you have a cigarette lighter. I'm not sure if it's an original. I, it could have been, but I, I'm not sure. Uh, but looks like it was never smoked. It still works. So yeah, this car is all about smoking because in the back you have way more than that, which I'll show you in a minute. But yeah, it works. The previous owner drilled some holes in here to mount a rear backup camera, which I can tell you more about it in a different video if this one ever becomes popular. But this thing was ridiculous. So the first thing I did was I took them off, but the holes are still there. So, and whatever he marked with a permanent marker, son of a gun. But anyway, um, yeah, you have a PowerPoint, uh, just a power thing to plug in, like another cigarette lighter style. Have a glove box, which I have the seat moved all the way forward to uh, give our son a bit uh, more limo feel, but 
in any case, you have a glove box. I have all the, the manuals and stuff, but I'm not going to show you here. I don't have an original window sticker. Too bad. All right, I'm going to actually do the auto climb it, and I'm going to turn it down because it's started to rain outside. So I'm going to do like 60 degrees and let it keep me cool. Maybe I'll do the recirculating so it's faster. Oh, yeah, you have this very old school uh, turn signals right here. You have this, you have this, you got twist for the wipers. I actually got really high end wipers on this car when I bought it. So, once again, thankful for that. You have press in for wash. So, you know, thankfully everything works once again. So, this is nice. What else I can show you here? You have a little light that goes on. If somebody uh, sits here, uh, I think it lights up for you, you know, to buckle in. Have a much more simple controls there, just without the memory and only for the door locks and unlocks. Oh, I love how the door locks. Very nice, solid feeling things. And then for the mirror, uh, this little chrome surrounds, not a chrome, like satin around the, the switches to give it more. I guess luxurious feel other than you know a mercury or a ford don't know what kind of switches those had probably the same ones just without the little silver thing here's my phone this is for the the sunroof which i actually forgot to close but you press this button and it closes and then you have a shade keep yourself away but i'll, I'll leave it open for um uh, for some extra light oh crap i forgot to turn this off uh, you have a home link here just for your garage. I don't have a garage, so never program that. And then this is, I bought this uh, Bluetooth speaker because keep in mind this car came out when uh, you could still hold your phone against your ear and I get a ticket. Uh, now that everybody can get a ticket, you know, I decided to switch to this. Now, also this thing has a column shifter. Uh, very old school, but the bottom line is, you know, it works. You don't, whoops focus <laughs> you know having it here opens up a large console space here which i'll show you in a second and you know once you shift it in the gear i mean do you really care where the shifter is i personally don't you do have an overdrive button to keep uh to basically just keep you uh in the three gears it's a four speed transmission very ancient i know that i wish it had you know five or six speed but uh the bottom line is it has a four speed it should be reliable from what i know um you know shifts very nice you have when you put it in reverse you have the parking aid and then if you press select no maybe if you press setup hmm oh there you go reset you can turn it off so it doesn't beep when you uh, back up i keep it on so i don't crash into things keep in mind no backup camera folks Way before that, backup cameras were not required and weren't even offered on these cars. So, don't have a shifter. You have a giant tunnel here for the rear wheel drive. And then you have this nice lid with a bunch of stuff, some glasses, some tissue holder back here, some coin slot. I actually bought these things off on eBay. Uh, this car did not come with either this or this, so this came in a, in a set from some other car, but I like it. I don't really use it but i like to have it all original this thing lifts up to reveal a seat we've got a little scuff marks here but you know nothing major yeah people can sit here right here it has an extra belt it's underneath this driver's seat but uh, do it for the cup holders i bought these little things separate that's a cherry air freshener i love how it smells so got i bought these they did not come with it a little dusty sorry but yeah you got you know you want cup holders you want extra seats and then this is our uh somebody had a, a seat buckle from this middle seat you can actually buckle it in right in there and uh somebody made a little crease in the leather which you cannot get rid of anymore but yeah this thing just pops out right there and whoops got a hair so anyway that's a seat so you want a seat you have a seat you want an armrest you have an armrest i definitely want an armrest so and then you have the passenger side you have the self deeming uh, mirror and yeah got a nice hood ornament leading the way way down there miles away from you i love it i don't know i love hood ornaments all right i'm gonna pause this well actually no let's not pause let's just go in the back 
Let's just go. Gotta get out from here. This is me. Here's my signature limited. Very cheap looking badge, to be honest with you. And you have the rear. You have your ashtrays, of course you do. Oh man. Oh man. I love the back seat. I wish I had somebody to drive me. Now, because everybody in my family pretty much hates this car, as they call it grandpa, old fashioned, blah blah blah. Nobody wants to ever drive it. So I never really enjoy the back seats. But sitting in here right now, I feel awesome. So you have an ashtray, and an interesting thing about this ashtray is this. So it comes out, and I notice something. It has this little thing. Now, in the going in there, there's no light, but this is designed, this is a pass-through for a light to illuminate your ashtrays. The problem is uh, that this car doesn't have it. So the, the uh, there used to be an L model, I think uh, executive L model, which is the, the limo version with six more inches of legroom, which I mean, I don't, I'm not hurting for, for legroom. I have the seat, I have the seat all the way back. That's how I drive. I'm 5'11". Uh, you know, not, not the fattest person in the world, but, but not the skinniest, but you know, I have with the seat all the way down back and this thing I think reclined a little bit I don't I'm not hurting for space at all not the foot space either you know there it is so yeah so for the the limo version these there's uh there's a little light there so you can actually see where you're dropping the ash in um, at night and there used to be another cigarette lighter here because this is a civilian version it does not have a uh, civilian uh, version of the light now i have the rear windows blocked because we do have a kid who resides here i had it all lined with towels so i don't pierce the weather but there it is got the cup holders here doesn't have a pass through for whatever reason i think the previous owner punctured the weather a little bit but what are you gonna do yeah but here you go a limo style without having a limo so we have a child seat installed here have plenty of room this car did not come with any floor mats at all when i bought it so i bought the normal walmart style um you know fuzzy uh carpets here floor mats and i bought these more winterized uh, goodyear kind of uh to keep it all legit but you know having a kid i mean he destroys this thing anyway stomps all over the place stomps here in the middle i try to keep it clean as much as i can but as you can see there's there's spots from before too but oh i also love the rear air vents here too you can turn them off or turn them on you cannot control like how fast everything is and hot or cold because it all controlled from the front I also noticed something strange. Um, this is probably one of the only cars that doesn't have a dome light. Now, there's plenty of lights all over the place, uh, and they all work. There's a light here, which our kid also loves to play with because he can now reach it from there. Uh, there are lights on the floors here. I'll show you here. There's lights on the floors. There's lights underneath in the, in the footwell. There's lights in the doors here, and, and, and also on that side in, in the footwell and in the doors. There's lights all over the place, but there isn't a light here. There's plenty of real estate to put a dome light here. We have this thing. Uh, all these cars came with this. I'm not exactly sure what this is for. I thought this was a mirror. I could be wrong. Uh, maybe in the limo version, I know they came with mirrors, but the mirrors, they used to be one for each side in the limo version. What in the world is this? There's probably some wires in there. It doesn't open. I mean, you can pry it open, but I don't want to break anything off. So. What in the world is this? If somebody can maybe tell me in the comments what it's for. Is this some sort of an access point? If you're trying to modify anything or any electrical connectors, no clue. But anyway, plenty of lights in this car. I mean, it's still light out there, but uh, you can kind of see them. But no dome light. Oh, yeah, there's also lights in the, in the front by where the sunroof is. But no lights in the, in, the, in the ceiling. So I don't know. It's probably one of the only cars I can think of that maybe doesn't have it. All right. Well, uh, the back seat is awesome. I can tell you, sitting in the in the front is very uh, nice and luxurious feeling. Sitting in the back is just even better. So, yep, uh, the leather is in nice shape. Uh, you know, once again, I'll do a more detailed video if this one <laughs> ever goes viral. But you can kind of see where the front is. Plenty of room. I try to keep it clean. 
Uh, maybe I'll do a video of how I keep it clean. Uh, rule number one, I don't eat in it, but there could be others uh, I can I could share with you as an enthusiasm uh, as an enthusiast for these vehicles. Have the nice uh, pull handles here, solid doors, ashtrays. You know, our, our kid have an ashtray there too. Thankfully, uh, no cigarette lighters uh, in these versions. Only the the limo versions. Yeah, AC is blowing cold. It's nice and quiet. I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't know if uh, if I covered everything. If I won't, if I didn't, I will cover in a separate video. Oh, also, I forgot to mention these things. Why aren't they labeled? I thought maybe the label, like you know, broke off or uh, it wore off. But no, no, the, the the labels. These cars never came with labels. I looked it up in a brochure. But if you press this. The trunk opens and you can close it as well and if you press this the fuel cap opens now I thought it, it should shoot out of there but it actually just opens enough for you to stick your finger in there and there it is I think it's got a 19 gallon tank um, but anyway I'm sure you can look it up but yeah got a fuel cap close it keeps it locked and then this and if you press it again, there you go, closes, shuts itself. And then this uh, key slot, you can use the driver's uh, key to put it in there and turn it. And then the valet key doesn't work in there, so the valet can't get in. I don't have a valet key. I don't have a need of locking anything in my trunk. So, uh, you know, so that's how it is. But yeah, always thought it was weird why it's not labeled. And uh, yeah, here's a shot. I don't know if you can hear the engine running, uh, how well the microphone works on this phone. But yeah, it's nice, quiet, no, no rattles, no, uh, just nice, smooth, like Matthew McConaughey, smooth. Yeah, so. All right, people of YouTube, I don't know what possessed me to make this video other than the fact that I was super bored. I enjoyed visiting this plaza uh, nobody other than the birds were here you got an office building there obviously if you know where I live you know where this is too it's a uh, uh, this plaza was never a high traffic area but now it's just a ghost town uh, perfect place for a video so hope you enjoyed it I will uh, you know hope to get some comments if you have any questions about this car I mean this car is not for sale but if you have any questions about hey you know maybe maybe you can focus on that your other video on this or show me this or or any questions or comments I mean I enjoy hopefully they're positive but I can take constructive criticism as a, as a beginner youtuber I I welcome it so all right well thank you everybody take care